Hi, so our last session, relationships. From where we will get the data for relationships? Who will tell us? If we want relationship for civil activities, we go and discuss with civil people, civil supervisor or with civil engineer. There may be some people responsible for civil activities. Go and ask them. They will tell us. There are four types of relationships, right? FS, SS, FF and SF. Mostly we use finished to chart only. Then we use SS and FF also. SF we don't use that much. They don't know this SF, FF and all thing. We go and ask them in their language. Sir, after this activity, what you will do? You will start which activity? You have any conditions like two activities need to do in parallel? These two activities need to finish in same time? Ask them how they will do this activity. Then they will tell us, okay, we will do this first, then that first, like that, like that, they will tell. So we need to convert that to our language. It will be easy for us to record these things if we take a printout of the schedule and then go and discuss with them. When they tell the details, we can mark the relationship in our print. Then it's easy for us to go in our office and look in that note. We can enter those relationships in our computer. That's one method. Another method is we can we can take them to our office, sit together, listen and understand what they are telling. Then we give relationship to our activity. That's the way we give relationship if we don't know which relationship to be given. If we are very senior and we know to give relationship, we can give relationship to ourselves. Then later we can submit this sheet with relationship to them for reviewing. They can check all these are correct or not. Always remember, we need to give correct relationships. Otherwise, our old schedule calculation will go wrong. The project end date which we get, the critical path which we get, the activity dates which we get, the floats we get, everything will be wrong if we give wrong relationship. So always ensure the relationships which we are giving is correct. When we give relationship, there is another term called lack which we need to give that we will learn in our upcoming sessions there are two activities a and b after finishing a b will start now if there is a condition like after finishing a then we will wait one day more then only b will start in such cases that one day gap we enter as lag okay that's the concept of lag uh, how to enter lag we will study in our upcoming sessions another thing we need to care is open-ended activities open-ended means every activities should have predecessor and successor relationships if any activity don't have predecessor or successor that means that activity is open-ended during updation stage such activities will give us wrong dates we will learn more about this open-ended activities in our upcoming sessions so these are the things we need to remember when we start linking activities or giving relationship to activities so see you in a session